part of having a clean release. I guess the first step in having a clean release in archery is your hook, setting your hook. Everyone has a different opinion on a hook, deep hook, shallow hook. Um, I think what we all can agree on is we want a straight line and alignment our hand down to our forearm for me it starts the second knuckle from the second knuckle to my elbow a straight line and then my hook starts after the second knuckle to my fingers When I go to set my hook, before I lift my bow up, I put slight tension on the string and I make sure the line is there. So my hand goes down, say, on the string. I pull. I put slight tension on the string before I lift my bow up. Before I raise my bow arm to set my hook, after I set my hook, I add that slight tension. And then I relax from the second knuckle to my elbow. I relax it. So all the tension is on the hook. And that tension and that relaxed line has to stay as I lift my bow arm and draw back. That doesn't change. So now tension on my hook and the relaxed line from my elbow to that second knuckle stays. As I lift my bow arm and I draw back. When I get here, you get to expansion. Step one, clean release. I'd like to thank Online Archery Academy for the many lessons and tips in Olympic archery form, release, how to shoot a bow. Check this channel out, it's great. No matter what kind of archery you do, it'll help you out. One of the key steps in having a clean release is just having the strength to hold at full draw and getting into full draw. So, SPT. Before you even shoot your bow, do a couple of these. Keep the net tension in the hook and a relaxed line from your elbow to your second digit. Take a couple shots. I'm really close. I'm seven yards, five yards, six yards from target, five yards, five yards away. Slight tension to the string. Lift the bow arm up. Keep that same tension in the hook. The relaxed line. Everyone's seen a little exercise 
we all know what we all know what we want to do here we just want to get we don't want to pluck we want that string to just slip through ideally we would want the string to just magically warped in front of our fingers but that's not going to happen so our fingers do need to open but we don't want them to open any more than they have to so that line that you have has to stay during the release. Because if it doesn't, then you pluck. That's the pluck. So how do we do that? Pulling straight back in our shot, in our follow through, it has to be straight back. After your anchor, you need to go straight back. And this way, not that way. So if you feel out of the archers after the release, they're touching their neck and their fingers are touching their neck and a hand ends up behind their head. Like you're making a muscle. So you need a little bicep tension at your release. You can't only have back tension in your expansion. After you expand, while you're expanding, think about it. You're putting it into your back and in your bicep. You want to expand, put it into your back and have a little bit of bicep tension. And then when you release, you want to pull, but keep that bicep tension. And the bicep tension is what's going to pull your hand behind your head. Without it, with just the back tension, hands is going to go straight back. But we want to go this way. So we need to make that, we need to make that muscle. But because our arm's this way, we're making the muscle, so it's going this way. Let's do one more. Set the hook, apply that string tension, make sure it's on there good, that string tension. Once you set it, forget it, but keep it, it can't move. That's critical. Lift your bell arm up, it stays the same. As you pull back and draw, it stays the same. <laughs> that little bit of bicep tension pulls, but keeps my hand ending up behind my head. tension. Set it and forget it. That's it. All right, let's move on to a little exercise. Okay, we're gonna take Jeff Cavanaugh's training method where he shoots out a vertical string on the hay bales. Uh, we're going to take that his, it, it's a great concept because it shows if you deviate off the line, if we're taking aiming kind of out of the equation, we're just focusing on getting it in a vertical line. And if you go left or right, it shows something up for your release. And it's a great exercise. Uh, so we're going to start out close, actually. Uh, I had another step to this exercise, start out close, real close target, like five yards away. You get it on the line, you take a step back. Hit the line again, just take another step back. So you start at five, then you go to six, seven yards, and so on. Let's begin.